Welcome to PLP. This video will showcase the fiber line limited tension dead end installation procedure. Limited tension dead ends are designed for termination of standard ADSS cable with spans up to 600 feet, a maximum installation tension of 1,000 pounds, and a maximum loaded tension of 2,500 pounds. Begin installation with a 5 8 inch through bolt that has a flat washer and nut threaded onto it. Feed the bolt with the hardware through the pole. Now install an additional washer and an eye nut on the exposed thread of the bolt. Make sure the opening of the eye nut is perpendicular to the pole. Tighten to secure the attachment hardware. Now use the included pin hardware to attach the extension link onto the eye nut. The thimble clevis can now be attached to the other side of the extension link. Feed the dead end through the thimble clevis and raise it parallel to the cable. Mark the crossover mark location of the dead end onto the cable. This mark will be used for installation of the reinforcing rods. Begin wrapping the reinforcing rods by aligning them with the mark from the previous step. Wrap the first rod completely around the cable. Continue installing the remaining rods with the ends left unwrapped. Ensure the rods are evenly placed before wrapping the ends completely around the cable. Align the dead end with the crossover mark of the structural reinforcing rods and begin wrapping the legs. Wrapping of the legs can be done one by one or both simultaneously. Splitting the ends of the dead end will allow for easier installation. While installing the dead end, ensure the gap between both legs is evenly spaced. Installation is complete once the legs of the dead end are fully wrapped around the cable. 